Hello everyone. Good morning. My name is Ankit Kansara. I'm an architect by profession, founder and CEO of Virtual Building Studio. Here you can see our journey. We have started Virtual Building Studio in 2015 after returning from UK. Virtual Building Studio was set up with the objective of providing comprehensive end-to-end -end customized services and solution to the AC industry globally. Our vision is to become most innovative AEC service provider globally powered by the digital technology. And VBS provides 360 degree AEC services starting from 2D to 7D scan to beam family creation and consulting services to the AEC industry. I've got four things today in this for, for this presentation. The number one is what is beam, benefits of beam, integrated digital delivery and common challenges. So why we need beam? As we all know, AEC industry stakeholders, architects, engineers, contractors, builders, we face problems like ineffective coordination, collaboration issues, digital. There is no digital platform for information exchange. And this leads to decreased productivity, increased project cost, high construction waste, and decreased building quality. The solution, as you can see the extent of problem here, there are two clear. One is the traditional method, another one is the BIM method. So project participants, as you can see in traditional method, it's fragmented and hierarchical, whereas uh, in BIM method, they are open and collaborative. The technology in traditional method is paper based. As you can see on left, uh, the BIM based technology is centralized and you can collaborate collectively. You can share and manage. And that's why the BIM is introduced. So BIM stands for building information modeling. The country is using BIM. I almost all the developed and developing countries have started using beam. It's mandatory in many of the governments. So usage is going very high day by day. How to apply beam? Where to apply beam? As you can see here, you can apply beam from pre-design state to design state, tender state, construction and management and facility management stage. So beam is useful in the entire project life cycle, design, build and operate. As you can see here, starting from bid to design to build, BIM can be used at any stage and you can def you can you can take a benefits out of it. So what are the benefits of BIM? Here I have listed the few benefits of BIM. Cost reduction and time save. This is the biggest benefit for the owner. Coordination, sustainability design options are the biggest benefits for the design team. Whereas the quantity, managing construction, procurement efficiency, quality of construction, this is very good for general contractor, project managers on site. And even the facility management life cycle assessment is the greatest benefits for the facility managers and owners. So BIM can be used by all the stakeholders in the different, different manner. So what is the real uh, solution? I, have, I, I, I know we, we all have failures implementing BIM. Though we have used BIM, we didn't get successful projects, right? And I heard from many of stakeholders when I meet people, they say that I implemented a BIM, but I, I didn't get the, the, the benefit what people generally said and why, why this thing happens. So the real solution is IDD, which is integrated digital delivery. As you see here, uh, the real solution uh, starting from BIM, it's, it's uh, from BIM to VDC to IDD. So, and you can see here the development from BIM to VDC IDD clearly. So, scope of IDD, what is IDD? IDD is integrated integrated uh, design delivery. So, these are some four main areas where IDD applied. So, it's a digital design, digital manufacturing, digital construction, and digital asset. Let's start with the digital uh, digital design. So people working in design don't necessarily have experience of doing manufacturing or pre-casting or pre-fabrication. And that's why it's important to use digital design. And you have seen the AR, VR and many other technologies used in designing. So, uh, you know, people from the consultant background, they, they've seen this 3D environments everywhere. <clears throat> digital fabrication. Digital fabrication is crucial. It's a much better environment to work for workers in the in the enclosed in, in, in the enclosed environment 
in the air conditioning so you know they they are not exposed to the external weather condition uh, to do more fabrication we have to do more manufacturing digital construction we have to look for everything from rfid through drones through augmented reality and virtual reality for digital construction as you can see in the diagram A digital asset management so it's it's asset delivery and management unfortunately people who design the building never experience the uh, they never have experience of constructing the building or fabrication of the building or fabrication and assemblies right so we manufacture so the, the designer who design the building they actually manufacture problems into the building and the facility manager who running and don't tell us what we have to fix going forward so we need better engagement between the designer and between the facility management and owners that's that's very essential and crucial so challenges as you can see here under each of this domain each of these domains our key challenges are listed which are basically you know uh, it's it's not design I mean, basically creating model in design phase which can be used for the all subsequent phases for example let's say digital design i've seen people you create a digital design create a 3d model create a beam model but it, it's not used for the subsequent phases of the of the projects so this is just an example so digital information are mostly segregated grid need to integrate across value chain for greater effectiveness as you know said picture speaks thousand words the one of the greek and roman empire you know guys guys did this picture speaks you know the guys who is laying bricks and one thing you will notice in this uh, roman empire was the architect and owner sitting and instruction uh, giving the instruction to the people right so what's not happening in modern construction is we we need much closer integration and that's why i like you know what happen in in projects like malaysia so nowadays you know managers and owners and architects not not sitting not staying on the site and and manages the people and that's why we need you know a most uh, most integrated construction approach so here i would like to show you one small case study of the metro project that we worked we were a small part of that project you know so very quickly let's 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 look i mean we have you must have if you are a construction industry for last 10 years and you have seen this kind of a uh, videos rendering videos and walk throughs to show the uh, contractors and to show the owners now you see this is the detail architectural uh, model here you see the great level of details the model is model model was built with the great level of details of architectural elements uh, this is situation where we building you know for the different models architecture this is a structural model where you can see the steel structure concrete structure diaphragm walls and all the details the similar way we have done uh, mep models as well all the services and design in 3d environment is is built here i mean that that all the services are here so you can easily see and it can be integrated and all the models can be coordinated uh, simultaneously right so all the services are also integrated like air conditioning drainage uh, wasting safety and many other services <clears throat> then we use you know this this complicated all this model incorporated with each other and we see the coordination collaboration and we we also do the constructability reviews we use you know slightly more advanced technology laser scan to beam here uh, we scan existing uh, station in, in with the accuracy of 5 mm and create a reference as built drawing so the design model for the future is completely coordinated with the existing condition so we can tie two things together virtual environment and the existing environment right so that's how we created the as built model and integrated our future model with the existing model so drone i i hope how many how many people you have used drones right and i'm sure that many of you have crashed into trees like me so drones had been used extensively in this project unlike a traditional survey we use drones to capture the high resolution pictures and 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 from that pictures we can we can see the entire progress of the site so this is a sequence of pictures taken by a drone 100 meter off the ground and you can see if if anybody who is into a photography these are very very high resolution photographs 
uh, see this little yellow box this i me and my my colleague you can see uh, sitting on the site and and flying the drawings 3d model so we we take you know high resolution picture and process them in computer and make a 3d model this is called a 3d uh, photogrammic model you can take photographs in 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 2 hours and process them in next 2 hours instead of traditional survey we takes about a week it's 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 faster than that so it's it's within a day we can take in a 2 hours photographs 2 hours survey and 2 hours for a processing and the, the whole site is ready like you can see here now you can use your virtual model overlaps with the 3d and check the actual projects of the site even you could manage the distance of the piles right so this is the benefit of using this integrated digital delivery approach so you can even you have a multiple layers you can on and off you can you can overlap your site and check the progress it's a great tool critical tool to monitor the progress and monitor the existing progress as well as see the future uh, challenges here there are another station and traditional photographies just to see the every station we applied the same methodology gis I, but you know what i want to show here is it's a gis which is geographical information system we put this model online using web browser here you can see a design model and photogrammic 3d model overlaps each other it's secure and the, the it's on the web browser it's secure don't think that it's not secure it's a secure all participants can look at current site situation future construction and all have all have their views participants can comment see the responses and check it's very very critical for design and construction team i hope you understand that how the two models you can even you have multiple layers which you can on and off and every stakeholder whether it's a designer it's a project manager it's a planning manager everybody procurement guy they can see check and understand where the actual progress is and what they want to check right it's not only building you know we 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 design it's not only about building we design the full infrastructure underground services tunnels and multiple other things as you can see here in this image the tunnels have been built with a great level of details uh, this is these are the great level of details used you know the side walkways hangers and multiple other things it looks pretty pretty easy here but you know everything is designed by the different specialist contractor and we have to uh, collate everything into one and do the coordination that's why it's a, it's a, it's a tough one uh, i have to say uh, proudly here that you know we we also use quantity surveys so 5d quantity takeoff has been done using the same technology construction planning and quantity takeoffs uh, we run the entire schedules into into it the the kind of a software we use entire schedules we check the existing existing buildability we check their quantities we build everything based on that we also check for uh, future uh, projections right for the quantity and the cost so everything is measured from the online approach so everybody has the right and they can see the level of details based on their rights to use 5d model a uh, progress on site and it it helps us a lot to forecast it's 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 a very powerful monitoring tool can you see if if i click you can see the data of of walls there from walls the quantities so if i have multiple contractors i can you know group based on that and i can take out my quantities and everything accordingly right so i have different different options available to play with and the finally the common data environment so all it's possible with the robust common data environment and the it infra so all stakeholders can work seamlessly you know in this particular project the stakeholders from all across the world so now you see where is the issue right i've been using beam since since 2009 but yet to see a successful project i have never seen a i have seen a project closer closer you know project come close but i have never seen a project that got the five star rating so collaboration you know let's look at the at the barriers to beam as you can see here i have 
given the six different barriers so technical people education and training legal work practices and process and commercial these are the six biggest barrier of beam implementation in the eco industry which is which we need to solve in order to make idd possible and how you can make it possible you know from my entire experience i can say that ironically beam is beam is you know uh, uh, going to give you a collaboration i mean people generally say that beam is going to give you a collaboration and i would say that beam will not going to give you a collaboration until you have a uh, a firm contract later in place so client should drive the collaboration as i said you know client is the main key holder who should drive the entire a uh, collaboration process and and if you have a client you know that that will drive the process then it gets success if client step back and thinks that you know the contract is going to uh, drive collaboration good luck see you at the uh, another end okay so it has to be lead by the client for sure and i firmly believe that you know early contractor involvement is equally necessary because the contractor is the one who is going to build the building you know i not the designer designer do a, a beautiful designs right but the contractor know how to execute it and eir in employers information requirement the document should be clearly based on objectives what you want to achieve should be there at the start of the projects design consultancy contracts uh, as as written here you know the idd process to produce coordinated constructible detailed drawing schedules quantities and taking through the all the stages of the building it's necessary that the contracts are in place key challenges you know to wrap up we have serious problem in our industry we we don't develop in a people so the, the biggest problem is we do not have a developed as well as experienced people on this technologies so i i call it people process and technology when we when we thought about beam people generally talks about high end pcs high end infrastructure you know that is the 6% of the problem but the 60% of the problem is experience and trained beam project main power so training and development is the is the biggest need right now and we have listed down the few core areas where the training is needed so digital engineering and education project onboarding process skills and training self learning peer to peer sharing and online platforms and discussion forums for all to share their experience and learn from that so here are my closing thoughts for your consideration i am going to leave you with three thoughts we three thoughts you know to do things we we all want to do things faster better and smarter so first is contract so behavioral mindset is the most important part to to leverage and to to work with the second one is training as i say training and live workshop this has the necessary tool for knowledge transfer and knowledge sharing and the third one is you know to to unlock the potential of idd we need an investor designer suppliers all to work collaboratively on one project and you know with the locking contract of multiple years so they have the same experience they can implement one on another projects and you know everybody can learn from their experiences so i will i will leave you with my favorite catch phrase regardless of what we all discuss regardless of what contracts we have regardless of what technology we use it will get built right the only question is how many lawyers will take to finish the agreements that's it for guys thank you all very much i look forward to your question and answer thank you